I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. So let me first thank all the subscribers for taking keen interest and posting excellent question. The question here is, the diagonal vertices of the square ABCD are given as A1-1 and C is 3-4. Find the coordinates of other two vertex in the square. So we are given two diagonally placed vertex on the square. We have to find the other two. That's the question for you. So I will show you the technique of doing it on a graph paper so that you can understand very easily. Point A is 1 minus 1, right? So 1 minus 1 means at 1, this is the point minus 1. 1 minus 1. And then we have C as 3, 4. So 3 is the X value. And let's go up 4 units, so 4. So that becomes point A and C for us. So let me label this as A and this point as C. Now the idea is to find the other two. So what should we do? First step, of course, is we'll find the midpoint of this diagonal, which connects the opposite ends, right? So the midpoint is the center value. Let's call it M. So first step is to find the midpoint of AC. Is that okay? Midpoint of AC. So let's call it M. So it is the average value, right? So X values add them up. So we get 1 plus 3 divided by 2. So that is average of X values. And the y values are 4 plus minus 1 divided by 2, right? So if you do that, you get m as 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 divided by 2 is, let me write 1.5. So the point 1.5, which is the center of this diagonal, will be 2 and then 1.5 right there, right? So that becomes the center for the diagonal of our square, okay? Now we need to find where the point other two vertices are. Now look at it like this. The other two should be somewhere here diagonally placed. Is that okay? Diagonally placed. You know, if I have to go from the midpoint M, let's call this midpoint as M, to C, then how will I go? I have to go up from, this is point 5, point 5, 1 and 2. That means 2.5 up, right? So from M to C, the change in Y value is 2.5. I should say X value is how much? Let's go like this. So from here, we'll move one unit to the right and 2.5 up. Do you see that? From going from the midpoint of the diagonal to point C, we have to move one unit to the right and 2.5 up, right? So what are we doing here? To move from M to C, we are going one to the right. That means we add one to X value and we go 2.5 up, we add 2.5 to the y value, right? Let's also write down the points here itself. Point C is 3, 4, and point A is 1 minus 1. Okay. So what? how should we get the other point of this square? I think it is very clear how we can get. We'll do the reverse of this, right? So from the center, Instead of going 1 up and 2.5, I mean 1 right and 2.5 up, we'll now go 2.5 right and 1 down, right? So what we'll do here is that from here we'll go 2.5 right, correct? So we'll go, uh, let me use another ink here. Okay, let's use, let's say right. So we'll go 2.5 right right and one down we'll do the reverse one down you see that one down 
to get to the next vertex. Is it okay? So what we have done here, let's say this point is B for us. We call this point as B. To get point B, what we are doing here is that from the midpoint, which is 2 and 1.5, to 2, we will add 2.5. To go 2.5 right and to the value of 1.5 will take away 1 to go down. Do you see that down? So we get the coordinates of point B as 4.5 and 1.5 minus 1 is 0 0.5. Is it okay? So 4.5, 0 0.5 gives us the coordinates of point B. Got it? Now, can you find the coordinates for point D? Well, you can. So what you should do now? Now we have to move left. That is to say, we have to do minus 2.5, right? And then go up, so plus 1, to get to the point D, right? So we are here at 2. So when I do minus 2.5, we reach at minus 0.5. And then, if I move one unit up, I reach there. So that becomes my position for D. So let me write down point D here first. Okay, let me write D here. And then we'll calculate. So get to D is from the midpoint. We are going from midpoint, right? We are going from midpoint. So what are we doing here? Let me show you again. So we have midpoint, which is 2 and 1.5. So moving left, moving left means minus 2.5, is it okay? And moving up means plus 1 to y value to get the point coordinates for point D. So the coordinates of point D will be 2 minus 2.5 is minus 0 0.5 and the y value will be 2.5, is it okay? So the y value will be 2.5. So minus 0 0.5 and 2.5 will give us this coordinate. Is that okay? So that becomes the coordinate for our square. Now you can connect these points to form a perfect square. I hope the steps are very clear. So we have the square now. So we were given the diagonal and we found B and D, right? So that looks like what you can do as an added exercise my lines are not that straight though. You can find the distance and confirm that all the sides are of same length. You can find the slope and then also confirm that opposite sides are parallel. Right? So what we get here is point B as 4.5, 0.5 and point D is minus 0.5, 2.5. So that becomes the answer for your question. I hope that helps. Thanks a lot once again for sharing such questions and keep posting. Thank you and all the best.